Yeah, hey. Um, okay, so coming out to you from my garden again, um, day two of self-isolation with respect to COVID-19. And um, sorry about the late video. The light's not particularly good at the moment. Um, I've actually been in consultation all day. So I'm here now and I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn this camera around so I can show you number two off the rank. Um, okay, so this is Mullane. All right, so Mullane, pretty much could double as one of the best toilet papers going around at the moment as well, because that quite literally feels like, you know, felt. It's so soft, it's ridiculous. So, um, Mullane, you'll find this in, in most sort of wastelands, paddocks, um, you know, a lot of rural areas, and you'll also find it in a lot of suburban areas as well. So, you, you know, even along footpaths, along fences and things like that, this stuff pretty much grows anywhere. And there isn't one on this one at the moment. This is a younger plant because I think it might have been mown down. But um, it actually gets this really big, tall yellow, uh, sorry, spire with yellow flowers on it as well, which I will post so just for those who um, are wanting to try and identify this who have no idea. But um, Malane, the leaves of this thing are particularly amazing when it comes to um, a first class expectorant. So again, this is a herb that I do use in tincturing clinic. And much like the plantain yesterday, all you want to be doing is you want to be crushing up those leaves and infusing that in hot water. Okay, so um, it probably doesn't need any more than that because it is quite a, a soft sort of leaf. Um, but if you wanted to, you could simmer it for a sort of 10 minutes as well. Um, the other thing that you could do if you wanted to with this is um, add a bit of honey to this sort of, it would encourage the effect of the malane because malane is particularly um, soothing. It's what we also call a demulcent. So it will help to coat some of the mucosal membranes all the way down through the, um, you know, down through the throat and down through the bronchioles. Um, and it just sort of has that soothing action as well, which from what I've heard, um, the cough that comes with the COVID-19 is actually quite dry. Um, it's not a productive cough at all. So, um, you know, anything like this, this actually, on that note, Mullane is also an uh, anti-spasmodic herb. So, um, yeah, what that means is that... Oops. I hate talking to the back of the camera. Um, so what that actually means is that it will actually help to relax the lungs as well. So, um, yeah, that's always a handy thing when you're wanting to, you know, relax everything um, and then obviously just get that expectoration or get that movement out of the mucosal membrane or out of the lungs, sorry, it's been a long day. Um, yeah, so that's Malane, um, Vabascum Saxus, for anyone who wants to know its botanical name. And um, just the other thing I will say about this is that it is something that, that they do spray quite frequently. I'm just, I think I'm on the microphone. Um, they do spray quite frequently in paddocks and, and, and um, council land and that sort of stuff. So just be wary of that, all right? If there's any spray signs around for things like blackberries and stuff, just be wary of, of going near this one because it is something that they do spray. So yeah, okay, that's day two and um, stay tuned and hopefully I'll come back tomorrow a little bit earlier with some other cool herbs that you can use for COVID-19. See ya.